please watch the Turkey Tom video about baby monkey hate? I didn't even see you made a video about that. I was watching this video from him earlier. I haven't finished it yet. I don't remember if I've talked about this guy on stream or not, but he made a whole video on this guy, and it's it's a really, like, thorough look at his life. Andy Dick. I've been very familiar with this weirdo for a long time. He is often considered a man responsible for... Well, okay, I, this isn't really fair to say. He's not solely responsible for someone's death, but he certainly isn't blameless. So Andy Dick is a fucking drug addict, and he has been his whole life. I'll pull up this article before talking about it. Well, actually, I'll just pull up the overview. Let me see. And then back quite some time ago, he... God, hold on. Whoa. What's a good source? This was talked about by everyone. I'm talking about the Phil Hartman thing. I just, I don't know a good source to pull up. But basically, he got Phil Hartman's wife back on cocaine. And, well, later on, after... Andy Dick supplied the cocaine. Bryn, which was Hartman's wife, went home and killed her husband. He's a man who has contributed nothing positive ever in his whole fucking life. He got excommunicated from acting, pretty much, and then he started doing really degenerate YouTube live streams, some truly pathetic stuff. Like some actual sad garbage. And Turkey Tom's made a really like deep video on him. And it's it's really good so far. I haven't finished it yet. But the guy's a he's an unhinged fucking loser. This is the resub birth control in xylophone. Did the coke cause her to kill? She was a recovering drug addict. Andy Dick gave her cocaine at a Christmas party. She got back on the wagon and it ended up with her killing her husband. Which is why you can't say, like, it was all Andy Dick, but he very much contributed to her getting back into that, that whirlwind of drugs. Which led to the murder of Phil Hartman. He's still a piece of shit. There's a gift of Ali. And Risa Bajangles. You can go on his wiki. Well, there's a whole thing on the wiki, I know. I just wanted to find, like, a better source as opposed to the wiki. This I didn't know. He is now a registered sex, offend registered sex offender following a sexual battery conviction. That's this week. <laughs> That's, like, the least surprising news I've ever heard of Andy Dick. Yeah, he was facing felony sexual battery charges. That was like three days ago. It says it was a week ago. Thanks to the five good subs, Ali, and the resub Angus and Chasen. And the resub Ruthie. Turkey Tom's I don't know too much about Turkey Tom like and his history or anything. All I'm saying is like this is a very good video at the like a look at Andy Dick. I'm not super familiar with Turkey Tom as a creator or, or anything like that, but this is like just an actual really good look at the history of a completely madman. Is the resub goblin? Can we watch it? No, I, I I was watching it on my own. I'm gonna finish it on my own. There's nothing silly about this topic. He's just legitimately a worthless piece of shit. 
And it's really confusing how he ever got famous in the first place. Like, he was never, like, an A-list actor. In fact, I wouldn't even really consider him a B-list actor. But he just kept pop it, popping up in roles for so long for no reason. And contributing nothing. Have you heard of the strangest player to ever grace TF2? Yep. I watched that whole video on him. <clears throat> Thanks to the resub, pandas and stray. Did you hear Drake gave DJ Khaled toilet seats? Nah, it's awesome though. Thanks for the resub, Shard. Pete the Meat Puppet? No, I don't know that situation. DJ Khaled checkup. <laughs> Nothing new, man. It's been a day. He, he's in the same position today as he was yesterday. God did. They didn't believe in us. He's a prime Autobot. Kanye running for president, what do you think? Oh man, it's it's so fucking wild. He already ran for president too, like what? When when did when did he run? Well kind of, like it was a it was a pseudo campaign and people wrote in for Kanye. Was it 2020? I thought it was 2016. Maybe it was 2020. But yeah, he's he's already run before. It was 2020? Uh. Is he actually running? It seems like it, yeah. It seems like he's running. Thanks to the prime fish. That is around the same time Gary Coleman ran for governor. I don't even remember Gary Coleman running for governor. But I have been... I don't keep up too much, but I have been enjoying the Herschel Walker clips of, as of late. The trend is just... Celebrity runs for political office. That's the main trend now. Not that that's super new. Like, Arnold was the governor of California for a while. But, like, Herschel has been a really entertaining, like, clown... The fake police badge, and then recently he talked about how this erection's for America. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This what? Oh, that was just a flubbed line. He was talking about the election, but then he just talked about his erection. But he also did this really fun thing where he summarized, and very poorly, mind you, summarized a movie about a vampire. So he goes on, like, a two-minute long rant about, like, this vampire was in the attic. This vampire was in the attic. 
And then it's all about the election. Like, he just poorly summarized this stupid fucking movie he watched over the weekend about a vampire. And then somehow loosely tied it into his campaign. It was so stupid. It was so enjoyable, though. I watched the whole thing. It was a great speech. Which movie? I can't remember what movie it was now. Surely the vampire in the attic should narrow it down, though. He really, li he really liked that part. Thanks to Prime Gigsito. It was Fright Night? Ah. He didn't drop a title? No, he absolutely did. Here, I'll, I'll, I won't make you listen to the whole thing, but I'll at least pull up a little piece of it. It's pretty cool. Uh, what would I, hold on, what would I type in to find that whole thing? I wonder if they just do it for Herschel Walker, Fright Night. Here's people talking about it, I just want, like, the raw speech. And then I'm talking about his fake police badge moment again. Ah, here we go. Oh, do you ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better? Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty fucking awesome. Made me want to see the movie. Faith. Oh, do you ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because <laughs> the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some kind of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are some cool people, are they not? <laughs> <laughs> something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I, I, I for one, did be a anymore. To be honest. Be a werewolf. But then, anyway, as I'm watching this movie, and then you can tell how stupid it is because it's one in the morning. So I'm watching my TV. Are these kids watching their TV? A uh, vampire kill on their TV. So you know it's kind of stupid, but I'm still watching, though. As I'm watching this show, Hayden what and Dirty Dog give some bar to Prime Crab at their house. So they were watching their TV. Now, I'm watching my TV. Are they watching their TV? Or they see the vampire killer on their TV? So they win this contest to bring this actor. Now, y'all got to stay with me. Bring this actor who's a vampire killer from that TV to get rid of this. It's a wonderful synopsis. It goes on for legitimately two minutes. I, I'm not going to play the entire movie. He spoils it. You know, I'm not going to do that to you. You might want to watch Fright Night. But yeah, it's been fucking awesome to watch that. I, I forgot. How did we even get here? Oh, because of the, the Kanye running for president thing.